today we will create mount point in linux so we should have disks so that we will use those disks in our new mount point okay so i have added three disks sdc sdd and sde so i will use sdc disk of size 5 gb to create one mount point you can check the current size here you can see the size of my disks okay so i will use this disk so first i will create physical volume created now i will create volume group now you may ask why i am creating volume group so it is very convenient uh, for administrator to creating volume group because let's say you have only a disk of size 10 gb and some application let's say require 50 gb space okay on single uh, mount point so in that case you are not able to uh, you will not be able to uh, provide the sufficient space to the application because you have only 10 gb disk okay so what we use in vg vg is nothing a collection of physical volumes okay so we will create uh, five physical volumes using uh, five 10 gb uh, disk that means total size of 50 gb so our volume group will be having the 50 gb space now it's your choice you can create lvm of size total 50 gb of volume group or you can create 50% of 50 gb okay that is the concept so that's why i am using volume group concept so that in next video i can show you how to extend the size of current mount point okay so we have created volume group you can check the created volume group vg display then volume group name you can see here it is showing the size is 5 gb okay not total 5 gb it will allow you to use 4.99 gb only some space is uh, reserved for the os to maintain disk details okay now i will create lvm on this volume group you have three options if you want to uh, use some percentage of volume group in your lvm so you can use this method in this 50% means suppose your volume group size is 5 gb and you want to create lvm of size 2.5 gb only so you can use 50% vg or 60% or 70% and suppose you want the total free space of your vg to create lvm so you can use this parameter also 100 100% free and if you want a static you want to pass a static value like i want to create lvm of this size this is a specific size so you can use this method also so i will go with first method okay so our lvm has been created now if i run this command again so it will show me the logical volume also you see now it is showing the logical volume details also now we need to create file system you can create ext4 or xfs as per your need if you are creating xfs so there is limitation that you can only grow the file system you cannot reduce and if you are using ext4 file system so in that case you can extend the file system as well as if there is free space you can reduce the file system so that the remaining space you can use in another lvm i will go with xfs file system okay created now we need to 
mount the LVM on any directory to use. So I have created the directory. Just cross check. Yeah, we have already this directory. I will first try to mount manually. Okay, seems mounted. You see, this is mounted and it is showing total size 5 GB and available 5 GB. We can also check from here also. So here it is showing data type XFS and the LVM name. Okay. Now since I have mounted this LVM manually, in next reboot it will not be auto mounted. So we need to uh, make entry of this LVM and this mount point in fstep file. So first we need block id of this LVM. So I will check block id. You need to copy this block id. It You will require this when making entry in fstep. You just now uh, need to make this entry in your FSTF file so that in every reboot this file system will automatically available for use. So copy this open the FSTF file paste in the last line and save this file okay. now right now it is mounted because I have mounted it manually now I will take a reboot and we will see that whether it is automatically mounted or not I will wait a uh, few seconds Okay, so my VM is started now. I will restart the session. Okay, now we will check whether my uh, mount point is automatic mounted or not. So you see, the mount point is mounted. You can go here. Sorry. You can create a new file here. Okay, so we are able to create files here. Now, uh, based on your requirement, you can change the permission of this mount point. Let's say if it is for your uh, database, so you need to uh, provide the permission for Oracle and its group O install or DB group. Okay. In, uh, in this way, we can create mount points on our Linux system. So, thank you very much.